Given the initial conditions and the value of KEQ, predict the direction the reaction will shift in order to reach equilibrium. That is, is the forward rate greater than the reverse rate, or is the reverse rate initially greater than the forward rate? Um, here what we're going to do is we're going to be solving for a Q value and comparing that Q value to KEQ. So in our first reaction, I want to write a KEQ expression, which for this equation would be products divided by reactants. Um, but we're not at equilibrium yet. We're at some condition other than equilibrium. So really, Q would be a more accurate way to set that equation. Then I want to plug in some values. The initial concentration of H2 is 0.81 molar. Initial concentration of HI is 0.44 molar. And the initial concentration of HI is 0.58 molar squared. Computing that, that gives us a Q value of 1.05. Um, I can compare that against my KEQ, which here is given as 7.1 times 10 to the 2. So looking at those two values, Q is much smaller than KEQ. One way we can interpret that, or, or therefore, is the, the fraction products divided by reactants, initially, that's, that's Q, is too small. That is, that ratio is not equal to KEQ yet. Therefore, what needs to happen is that quotient needs to become larger. So to do that, we'll increase the numerator, shifting towards the product side, shifting towards products, or shifting right. And once we reach equilibrium, stuff will have shifted to the right. We have another problem here which will solve the same way. We have some reaction conditions that are not at equilibrium. So I'll write KEQ expression, but this time, you know, again, it's, it's Q rather than KEQ because we're not at equilibrium. Concentration of my product squared over the concentration of my reactants. Get a Q value equals to 0.978. KEQ equals 0.423. So in this case, I have a Q that's greater than KEQ. That is to say, the quotient products divided by reactants is too large. To make that smaller, we want to decrease the amount of products, increase the amount of reactants. So we'll shift to reactants, otherwise known as shifting left. And in order for this reaction to come to equilibrium, we'll see a net shift to the left.